We welcome in Ryan Wills, who is the head volleyball coach at the University of Tulsa. And, uh, well, you've gotten through the non-league. You're seven and six. You've had some highs and some lows. So tell us what you're happy about and then maybe some of the stuff you have to work on. Yeah, I think uh, we're definitely happy with some of the wins. We've, we've played a, a tough schedule. You know, when you look at the schedule, you might not see a lot of big brand names there, but you look at a lot of really good mid-major volleyball programs that are going to win 20, 25, 30 matches are going to compete for their league championship. So, you know, we're we're not necessarily satisfied with the preseason, but uh, it was a tough schedule, and we got to find a way to uh, kind of build on it to some extent and understand that we're a roller coaster. And we've had some matches where it's the top end and where the level of volleyball we're playing at is pretty impressive, but we've also had some of the lows. So we got to figure out how to uh, just not be as much of a roller coaster and just kind of climb the mountaintop, if that makes sense. So that's some of the words we're using with our team a little bit and just trying to figure out how to how to settle it down as we get into conference play. So a little more consistency in general yeah. then? or Yeah, exactly. And so we've had, we've had matches where our offense is clicking at a level that maybe we haven't had in five years. And then the very next match, it was, it was not, uh, not successful at all. So just, just trying to figure out who we are and how do we fill in the gaps and, and allowing, you know, if one person's not playing well, then these, these positions need to play well. And just trying to figure each other out. We've got a lot of new people in a lot of new places. And so that's kind of where we've been at in the preseason. That's, that's what it's designed for. And we, you know, we challenged ourselves with our schedule. And so uh, in order to get us ready for conference play that starts this week. Your identity in the past has been being a good defensive, yeah. grinding type team yeah. that stays in points and wins and rallies and that yeah. sort of thing. Is that still the same, or is that an area you still have to work on and get better at? Uh, we got to work on it and get better at it, but it still stays there. You know, it's still uh, probably one of our strengths in order to be able to do, uh, make some adjustments defensively. You know, some of our good wins this year were because our defense does what it normally does, and um, you know, we have. I think we have a little higher end. Um, ability to uh, we have multiple defenses but even one match that was a huge win for us this year we were able to kind of uh, flex and run, run a defense that we have never actually worked in practice and kind of mold two together in the mm -hmm. middle of the match because a certain attacker was doing a certain thing and I think that's you know a testament to Taylor our libero who can make some adjustments can read the game well and so uh, it's definitely a staple of our of our team um, and if we can get the offense to uh, be a little bit more consistent and take our defense to the next level, then we'll be in a really good place. Talking about Taylor Horsfall, of course, who's one of your veterans, but attack-wise, uh, the, the flashes when you're playing well has been yeah. really good, but it's the inconsistency that you're worried about. But what, what are you doing well when you're, when you're really attacking and finishing points off? Yeah, well, it actually starts with the first touch, which is the serve-receive. So when they serve the ball at us and we have our first touch, whenever that is solid, then we're, we're pretty, pretty dang good at offense because we have – uh, we got two middles that are producing really high level for us, but if you don't first touch well, you can't get the ball to them. And then when they do well, then the blockers on the other side have to collapse towards the middle or focus on the middle, and then you can set the ball to the pins, and then we have f four pin players because of our system, and uh, they can have success when that happens. So it starts actually with nothing to do with offense. It has right. everything to do uh, with the platform, uh, but when that's good, then it opens everything up. And, uh, you know, we have an outside hitter, uh, Delara, that has a lot of kills for us. Um, but when we can get the middles involved and when we get the right sides involved, then all of a sudden it opens it all up and then there's what you'd call a balanced offense with anything, whether it's football or basketball. And when that balance is there, then it kind of snowballs in a positive direction because the other team doesn't know who to focus on. Well, and this Friday you get going in American Athletic Conference play and it's a traditional rival, Wichita State, who has had a history of uh, yeah. doing very well. Yeah. However, they're three and nine. However, <laughs> they've played a, an unbelievable schedule. So don't yeah. are, what you're saying is don't don't let yeah. the record fool you. Yeah, I mean, we're I was looking at some stuff. There, you know, there's some models to try to predict who can win, et cetera, et cetera. And they're basically we're dead even with them. Their their record is three and nine, but I don't, I don't even look at that one bit because the teams they played. We played a tough schedule. They played a ridiculously tough schedule with top ten teams all over the place and teams that are national powerhouses. And so there's uh, there's no reason for them to be uh, surprised by anything we do. They played at a really high level, and so I think they're excited to have non or the non-conference season over with and start conference just like we are. So I think it's gonna be a battle to see who who's tested enough and who has confidence going into the first weekend of play, and it'll be a battle. Yeah, it should be a great one. Seven o'clock on Friday at the Reynolds Center against Wichita State, and then Sunday, yeah, East Carolina and, and starting at home mm -hmm. in the league, uh, yeah. you know, and it's obviously obviously important to play well at home and, and get a leg up if you can, right? Yeah, and it's uh, 
I think the weekend will be a good test for us. You know, East Carolina is coming in here 11 and one, I believe, right now. I think they have a match tonight, but they, you know, they haven't played the schedule that maybe Wichita or Tulsa has. But they're still 11 and one. They're playing well, and they always play hard. You know, they always they love to compete and play hard. So uh, it's it's a good week first weekend to start conference playoff, and it's kind of a fresh start. And we have the tournament at the end of the season for the first time, and so it's just a little bit of rejuvenation and understanding of how how do you be successful in our conference season because it's a different model now and uh, I think we're really excited about that and it and it fits well with this team with as young as we are and with as new many new people in new places it allows us to build over the course of the season and be in the right place at the right time at the end of the year. Now we're looking forward to it Friday is the first home match in American Athletic Conference play coach good luck and we'll talk to you after the weekend. All right, thank you. Ryan Wills University of Tulsa volleyball in the eye of the hurricane.